here. So I took the seats out, um, all the interiors out. I'll start prepping all the trim pieces and the seats for paint. So start by shampooing the seats, clean those up. I got this uh, vinyl and fabric paint. So should clean everything up. And then uh, hopefully spray everything the next couple of days. Weather's supposed to be nice, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. But I'm gonna finish uh, shampooing these. Let's get that before, and hopefully it'll look a lot better after. So we'll see. But yeah, after the seats, I'll come back here, pull all the trim pieces out of this box, and start cleaning them all up, prepping them for paint. So I might grab a couple more cans. Probably need another can or two of the paint and one of the adhesion promoter. So grab a couple of those on my way into work today. And uh hopefully they come out nice. We'll go all black interior. Thought about doing a flat black, but I think a gloss will look a lot better, especially with the color I'm gonna paint it. So once I finish the interior pieces, I'm still waiting on the, well, I'm going to clean up the floor, pretty much clean up the whole interior, wipe that all down, and uh, put sound deadening down in there, even on the roof. So I might go up along the sides and the doors also, but at least the floors and the roof. Uh, so yeah, once I do all that, I'll start putting everything back. Like I said, just trying to take advantage of this weather we're having. So I suppose to be high 60s 70s this week so I'm gonna take advantage of the weather while I can before it starts getting too cold it is almost December so this weather is ridiculous but let me get back to it get shampoo on the seats out Don't leave them out for about a day let them dry uh, should be dry tomorrow by the time I decided to start cleaning everything up and spraying, but I say these things were dirty. Oh, they were dirty. <laughs> but that's what happens when you get them from a junkyard. But they'll clean up nice. There are some small imperfections in the seats, but none I'm worried about. So eventually the fronts might be replaced by buckets just leave the back in there so we'll see the back looks like I just saw sun faded up here but with the paint shouldn't affect it and I'll find a way to fasten this back down that's it so I'll let these dry and tomorrow I'm gonna tackle all the trim pieces clean them up and hopefully it shouldn't take too long should be able to get to spraying tomorrow so. so I know I said I got these uh, blue seats to use instead of the brown ones because I did like the larger uh, sections better. However, I'm going to use the brown ones for now. Dye those black. These ones um, I'm going to hold on to for a little bit because that side is ripped pretty good and then that headrest is ripped. Other than that, the rest of it's in pretty good condition so I'm gonna hold on to these for a while these may or may not get a uh, reupholstered by a professional um, somewhere down the line if not I'll probably just end up selling them the dash I'm gonna attempt to repair the dash also so after I clean up all these trim pieces and spray uh, I'm gonna spray all the trim pieces first and then I'll try to tackle the dash I'm about to cut it out a little bit where it's all cracked up and fill it back in. I do have the repair kit for it. So some filler. And then I think the actual filler is in here. Yeah, it's just uh, some dash filler. So I will do that. That'll probably be separate in a different video. And uh, just paint that after, but I will do the door panels when I do the seats and the other trim pieces. 
but these seats just not yet I do like them better I think they're actually in better condition besides the driver's side but I'm gonna hold off on them so hopefully I get them out of the back of the Elko soon once I get all these trim pieces out of the box and clean up this whole area put everything back on the car I have a few extra parts but as far as the interior trim I'll get all that painted and uh, just clean up some room get it back in the car but let me stop talking I'm gonna let these dry Between coats, I did use a soft brush to brush the fabrics one way, then I sprayed a coat and then brushed the fabrics another way just to keep the fabric soft and so the spray would get in between all the fibers. So the rear seat is done. Came out pretty nicely. Wait for it to dry a little bit. Probably could use one more coat. But only got six cans of paint. Took three on the back, so pretty sure I'm gonna need a couple more. I'm gonna try to do the fronts. See how they come out. Uh, I was trying to take this piece off, but the bolt on this side is stripped out, so I'm just gonna figure something out, spray around it. But uh, what I did on this one, I didn't do on these, the vinyl parts, I actually scuffed these up and then um, wiped them off, wax and grease remover. Uh, I did use adhesion promoter on the vinyl on that side, so I'll, I'll use it on this also. And then just paint as much as I can. Hopefully these three cans is enough to cover. I doubt it. But uh We'll see. No, the vinyl it covers pretty good, but the cloth that's what soaks up all the paint. So I might be able to figure something out. But I'm gonna get to spraying. I already cleaned these up and wiped them down. Um, try to remove the headrest. A little unsuccessful. So just taped up the metal part here, a little plastic part here. So I'll just spray around all that. But let me put the camera back down and get back to it. All right, so just finished up with the front seats. They came out pretty good. Was able to get full coverage all the way around. It was a little tricky in here. Every time you moved it, it kind of scraped a little off, so I had to just leave it for a while. But yeah, I think they came out pretty good. Of course, gonna let them dry. So move them out of the way in a little bit. Pull the Elko back in. I think the back seats could use another coat. I'll see how it looks when they really dry. But, I don't know. Well, it's dry to the touch. So, doesn't feel that bad. Nothing's coming off. So, that's good. Yeah. Fronts are done. And the backs are done. Kind of glad I didn't uh, prep any of the trim pieces. Because, like I said, I only got six cans. Use three for the back and three for the fronts. And I was still kind of pushing it, but uh, yeah, if you're gonna do it, about three cans for your fronts and your backs. So six in total. So knowing that, for all the trim pieces I have left, I'll probably grab another four or five cans just to be safe. Well, I'll grab six because I have to do the dash also. But yeah, that's it. So 
pretty much um, shampoo the seats and I uh, let those dry on the vinyl. I scuffed the fronts up with the thing 600 grit sandpaper. The backs I forgot to scuff up, but I did uh, use wax and grease remover on all the vinyl parts and plastic parts. Like, it's right there. So, um, after I uh, used the wax and grease remover, What I do, I use a adhesive promoter on the vinyl parts, and then I uh, just sprayed it. So I didn't allow too much time between coats. Like I said, I did probably the first chair. As soon as I did that, went to the second chair. As soon as I finished that one, went back to the first one. So just constantly moving on them. Hopefully that did the job. The vinyl, like I said, uh. The vinyl covered pretty easily. The cloth is what soaks up all the dye or paint, whatever you want to call it. But that's it. I think they transformed those seats pretty well. Gotta let them dry and then I'll probably uh, just toss them back in the car for now. Just to clean up some space and then later on today I'll probably head out grab uh, some more cans of the uh, I want to call it dye or paint but I don't know specialty coating so I'll grab like I said, about six more cans of that the adhesion promoter that's still pretty full so I think I'll be good with that I know I took the last one from the store when I got it. So if they have another one, I might grab it just in case. But I feel like that can should be enough just to spray all the parts I have left. But that's it. I'll let them dry and I'll set them back in the car. And uh, try to look up an old picture, old video, and get a before and after. Alright, so I finished up with the seats. I did place them back in the car and I gotta say it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? It does look a little light in some areas, especially on the back seat, but I'm not sure if that's just the design of the seats or if I need to add another coat. But it looks really light on the camera, but I think that's just from some shade. Or the sun but I like how it turned out it's gonna look real clean in there all black I do have the carpet uh, waiting to pick up some sound deadening so I can put that down I'll clean this up I don't know if I'll paint it or not paint will just be overkill under sound deadener and carpet but we'll see uh, still have to get some more cans We'll paint the steering column. Steering wheel, I want to replace it. I don't know if I just want to replace the wheel or do a uh, quick disconnect steering wheel. But like I said, I do have the carpet in. I do have the headliner. I will have to cover it because right now it's just the plastic. And then take the visor down and dye those also. And then obviously dye all the trim pieces, door panel, and repair the dash. But the seats like how it came out I was a little nervous at first but uh I like it I had to put the little ashtrays back in there I'll leave those chrome nice little piece in the visor but overall I think it came out pretty good like I said it's all dry won't come off on your clothes or your hands so that's a plus but you guys see it yeah let me know what you guys think it's a pretty easy process but like I said I went through six oil cans I probably need about another six to do the door panels dash and the rest of the trim but 
Till then, throw the carpet in. Of course, everything just be all black. Keep it nice and simple. So you can't mess up all black. It was tempting to do it red though, but I'm like, nah. Be too too loud for my taste. But yeah, there it goes. Just all black seats. Gotta get that tape off down there, but yeah.